What's up, NFL fans? Today we're breaking down Blake Bortles, the Jacksonville Jaguars' first-round pick in our rookie spotlight. We're breaking down what this means for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars as far as Madden and NFL goes. Last week we broke down Johnny Manziel and if you guys could just do me a favor and if you haven't seen the video go ahead and check that out. I felt like I did a pretty good job breaking down some of the things that I'm really excited for with the Cleveland Browns and also real quick before we get into this breakdown I want to encourage you to go over and already like my Facebook page because my Facebook page is where I'm going to be doing a lot of work for guides and uh, um, different types of merchandise that you guys can check out. So go check out that Facebook page if you would for me. And just leave a like and let me know that you're supporting my channel. Alright, so getting into Blake Bortles' breakdown here. The guy ran a 4.840 uh, and he had a 32.5 inch vertical leak, 4.21 shuttle, and 7.08 coin uh, or 3 cone drill. Now... As a quarterback, you know, I don't really put a whole lot of stock into the physical uh, portion of the quarterbacking, but I think that Blake Bortles definitely did himself a favor uh, by his 40 time. You know, it's not a super incredible 40 time, but it is something that's really interesting because he, as a big guy, he is going to be mobile. A lot of guys are saying that he won't even start in his first year, and I think that's uh, more of an NFL stance than Madden, and I kind of want to focus simply on Madden. But we see here the statistics that he put up over UCF here, and just a lot of different things. I mean, he had a couple of different Different times where he would carry the football, but it was mainly passing, and he looks like the quarterback of the future for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, talked about his NFL build, uh, very athletic uh, mover, and picks up chunks of yards with his legs, and I think that that's something that we want to focus on because, like I said, he's not exactly that Michael Vick or you know that uh, RG three, but he's more like that Aaron Rodgers, that prototype quarterback that can a little bit move, a little bit of mobility, but also has that pocket presence, and I think that he is uh, really. Uh, I think he is really a, an interesting pickup. I think he'll do a lot for the Jaguars. I think he'll do a lot more than a lot of people will actually give him credit for. The Jaguars, if you guys aren't paying attention, they have a really good uh, offense in terms of uh, they got Cecil Shorts Jr., they've got Justin Blackman, and they've got Denard Robinson in the backfield. Now, this might be great for the real NFL, but for Madden, it makes for a very dynamic trio with the addition of Blake Bortles, a mobile quarterback who is not really, again, not really a Michael Vick, but more of an Aaron Rodgers. Uh, he can make every throw, uh, sometimes likes a little bit of arm strength, but I think that he has a lot of uh, upside, and I really like this pick by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, personally, I do not think that he is better quarterback long-term than Johnny Manziel, but I do think he has more of a prototypical build and will provide a lot of value for the Jacksonville Jaguars in the 2015 NFL season. If you guys are looking forward to using the Jacksonville Jaguars in NFL 20, in Madden NFL 15, let me know in the comments why and let me know what you guys think of the Blake Bortles pick. Also, guys, if you like these rookie spotlight series, if you could just leave a like rated below and remember to go check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Madden Tips 365.